We're back, and now with Charlie Habib from the Japanese Federation in our Kata segment. Hi, and right now, this segment of the show is the segment that we've been devoting to katas or forms, pumseis. And right now with us today is Sensei Habib, and it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Oh, it's an honor to be here today. All right, and, and uh, you're going to do a kata for us, but before we get into that, uh, you head up a school, you run a school, matter of fact, under a Master Fumio Demra, which is the uh, Japanese Karate Federation. Where is it located? In Oneonta, New York. Uh, we are his main branch. Uh, that's our headquarters school. All right. You have other locations, but that's the main one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I also have one in Cooperstown, New York, where uh -huh. the Baseball Hall of Fame is. Fame is. All right. Great. Well, in regarding uh, teaching and the supervising and working in the school, you've been doing that for quite a few years now, haven't you? Yes. I've been involved in the martial arts for the past 18 years, uh, but under Master Demera, uh, this year will be my 10th anniversary. And in April, we plan to have our 10th 10th anniversary expo tournament in his honor. All right, I'm going to share with the the audience because the show airs in a couple of other states and around the state of New York that this April would be this coming April 1991, and this show may be seen even in a later date than that, so that you know when his 10th anniversary was. All right, we're going to do a kata right now. I should say we, you are, and the kata's name is. It's Kushan Kudai, and it was originated by Master Kenwa Mabuni, who is the originator of the Shitaru system. All right, and this is a traditional kata in, in your school or system, basically applies to what, what belt rank? Okay, it's a Nidan, or a second degree black belt level. All right, terrific. Well, I'm going to step out of the way and let you go right ahead and do it. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> How you doing? Getting old. <laughs> oh, not even close. I love it when they say that because we know it's not true. Um, beautiful form. Beautiful form. I come right back out afterwards so that you folks know that he did it right here in the studios, live in front of these people, and has definitely put a lot of energy. That takes a lot of energy, but that's the way it's supposed to be done is a lot of power. That's uh, one of our long, what they call long form katas which means the long version. All right. Yeah, they like the kicks too, I can tell. Well, I thought everyone else would like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they look great. Uh, we're going to be going to a break right now. I'd like to thank you for taking the time in our kata segment of the Martial Arts Today show and sharing that with us, a beautiful form. In the name of it again, I'm going to ask... It's Kushan Kudai. All right. And thank you, sir, for spending time with us. Thank you for having me. All right. And there we have it. Right now we're going to go to a short break, and then we're going to be back with more on Martial Arts Today. The Martial Arts Today show aired on NBC for 12 years, reaching over 3 million homes in the United States and Canada. Its host, Grandmaster Clifford C. Crandall, Jr., traveled to 22 countries covering diverse martial arts styles and events. Grandmaster Crandall is the founder of the American Martial Arts Institute and American Eagle Style. He has made numerous contributions to the field of martial arts, producing instructional videos, books, including the American Eagle Style textbook and the American Eagle Style Self-Defense DVD. 
These resources share the American Eagle style with the world and help its instructors teach its students. In addition to traveling around the world as host of the Martial Arts Today show, Grandmaster Crandall has led several martial arts teams on international cultural exchange tours. In 1994, he coached and led the first American martial arts team to perform by government invitation for the People's Republic of China. The team carried letters from President Clinton, Vice President Gore, and numerous senators and congressmen. The presidential letter was read before each performance. A 30-minute documentary was produced to chronicle the trip and its historic significance. He led similar trips to Russia, Japan, Australia, Italy, and the Caribbean. Grandmaster Crandall has appeared in many martial arts magazines, promoting safety and awareness for people of all ages and abilities. He has promoted child safety internationally, is the Central New York spokesperson for McDonald's Corporation, and set a Guinness Book World Record for breaking boards while skydiving as a publicity effort for the need for child safety education. Grandmaster Crandall is also the headmaster of Takanuchi Hanganru Matsuno Crandall, a 300-year-old Iaido style. Grandmaster Crandall's certified position and title were bestowed to him by his late instructor, Headmaster Tsuni Yoshi Matsuno, during a traditional ceremony in Japan in June of 2002. Grandmaster Crandall has documented these styles in both textbook and DVD format. Prior to becoming a full-time professional martial artist, Grandmaster Crandall was a superintendent of schools, a high school principal, an elementary school principal, and a classroom teacher in the state of New York. To learn more about Grandmaster Crandall and the American Martial Arts Institute, visit www.amai-eaglestyle.com.